So today I came on here to talk about uh, simulation theory. Uh, I was just in meditation with Lord Thoth and for myself, I've been really deciding what I need to release, like the best content that I can create for you guys to ascend faster, ascend higher, um, kind of because it took me so many years, I'm trying to condense magic into just kind of a theory or an algorithm scientifically that you can use. So even if you're not uh, fluent in magic or you don't fully understand it, that you can at least use these, these like every video is a hyper sigil. It's a gateway to what I'm trying to teach. So even if you didn't fully understand what I was talking about, whether it be advanced astral projection mechanics, go watch that video and you'll start to be able to astral project because the frequency, the vibration of it, it's kind of like, not like a drug, right? But it's using my vibration, using those energies to get you to understand that level and that state. And from that, then you can ascend higher. This is what I am. I am a torch bearer. I am a light bringer um so i'm here to give you guys the knowledge the wisdom and inform information that you need to rise and ascend what's up so let's all let's all ascend today so the simulation what we live in is a soul matrix a soul simulation it is similar to a video game it's literally a video game, but we are experiencing it fully through feeling, through thoughts, intentions, emotions, like you get broken up with that is real. It doesn't matter if we live in a simulation, you still feel that. Um, so it is as well the same thing with food. You don't you, you don't have food. You can't eat simulation is going to be very real to you but when you're living like luxurious or comfort in comfort then that's when um you know it doesn't matter as much right you you could you could care less if it's this or that but when we when we have the foundation of the things that we need we can start peering into these realms not that we when we have the foundation spiritually and then as above so below we bring that into our physical life through our breath through our thought and our intentions then that is as well how we can use our vibration and our frequency to mold the matrix and then through molding the matrix we empower ourselves we empower ourselves through understanding the mind and its processes through theories and algorithms intention algorithms being what you do day to day over and over again. If you have the intention to astral project and you meditate every day at this time and you do it over and over again, that routine creates the outcome. Everyone has goals that they set. I will astral project by next month, but it's routines. Routines create these neural pathways and then once we create those neural pathways in our routines, our exercises, whether they be third eye meditations, we all have an open third eye, but not all of us are using it. Not all of us understand it or what it is. So what is a third eye? The third eye is actually the controller to the game. Everyone says it's the mind, right? Well, the mind is all. The universe is mental, ancient hermetic axiom. The mind is all, the universe is mental. So we're using our mind, we're using our mentality, 
our third eye, how we perceive and see reality to mold and shape our reality, to create our outcome. And this is why the third eye, the mind, is the controller of our reality. What we think, how we feel, our perception, all of these things are going to manipulate the outcome of our intention. So if we don't have the right mindset or state of awareness for the intention that we desire, then it's not going to be vibrationally accepted into the universe, into the all source, you could say. But when we understand and we know these universal laws, these principles, such as the law of mentalism, cor correspondence, polarity, law of cause and effect, until we understand these, these processes and we liberate them from the subconscious mind into the conscious and we consciously know how to use our awareness to to attract things to magnetize things but as well to push or yeah, yeah to attract things that's my left hand to attract things to magnetize things to us but as well to push things so I'm going to be giving you guys a, uh, a technique to do mental transmutation, mental alchemy. Um, kind of, I want to say Thoth kind of taught me this, but as well, we were like experimenting together where I'm like, hmm, what are things that I can? And then I saw a, a healthy gamer GG on Twitch. It's a Harvard psychologist that teaches, um, he teaches, uh, you know, uh, different psych psychology, psychological methods that you can use to, to better your mind. And so I kind of took this from him and then adapted it. So what we do is envision an apple envision. It could be anything, honestly, envision one thing. Now see it in your mind, fully envision the apple, see it solidified, hold your hand out even right envision it in your hand so see it in your mind in the darkness use the darkness and the light to form it creating matter in your mind because the mind is the all and the universe is mental so we live in a simulation so what i'm doing is simulating an outcome in my mind so i'm simulating an apple now as i simulate it as i Imagine it in my mind through frequencies and vibrations, through imagination and visualization and tension. I use my energy and I envis envision it in my hand, solidifying it, making it mental, making the, me making the mental into matter. And then literally just, you could sit there for minutes, even hours doing that, and alchemists, true alchemists, understood that the mind and the physical reality, there is no difference. There is no difference. That's why mind over matter. When you start to disillude your ego and you understand, you understand reality for what it is, not what you perceive it to be. You start to use these laws and you make them these these unconscious or subconscious laws that are always functioning, always going around like breathing. Uh, I was just breathing autonomic. It was just happening. And then and then I start to breathe. I start to ramp it up. I was making the unconscious conscious. And it's the same when you're doing high level meditation or exercises or just meditation in general. Now I'm envisioning a moon in my hand, in my left hand. So I, I'm taking in that essence and that energy that I'm envisioning. Just as I'd be, if I envision the moon, I cannot give you the energies of the moon, 
by putting it into my right hand because I'm projecting those energies. And then as well, I can perceive a sense of balance by putting a sun in my left hand and a moon in my right hand. And then I envision a black hole in my left hand with the sun. So the sun is feeding a black hole. And then I envision a stellar light realm in my right hand. And then the moon above it. So the moon is feeding that realm. And then I'm getting an influx of those energies as I merge them. This is the yin yang polarity. This is understanding polarities and then using those polarities to empower yourself. Using these archetypes and these, which I'm, I'm working on a video of archetypes um, and how you can use them to transmute your life and better your life through them. But using these archetypes and these energies to better yourself based off based off imagination, based off visualization, based off your intention and your awareness. And that's the thing. These are the things that we can do in this simulation once we dis dissolve our ego and we go within and we go within to understand the greater aspects of ourselves. We we know thyself. We go within to know thyself, to know who we are. And then once we know who we are, this is when we can create our world. It's just as the fool, the fool is constantly creating their reality, but don't know it. They, they say, what? I don't create my reality, dude. What are you talking about? And then they go walk, they go walk down the street to go get a burger. And then it's like, you just did that. You created that, dude. You influence your reality with every thought, action, decision that you choose to make. This is the simulation. We can choose to go have a burger. We can choose to eat vegan. We can choose to drink water, fluoride water or alkaline water, right, guys? We can, everything is choices and these choices grow us. I choose to meditate every day. I choose to write every day and I choose to make videos every day. I remember back to when I didn't want to do any of this. I did. I had the thoughts. I always wanted to do it, but I couldn't ground it and I couldn't bring myself to center to just talk about one thing at a time. But then we do it and we get better at it. This is growth. Huh, sorry. This is growth mindset. When we grow our mind, we are able to embrace everything and the all. Because unless you can, unless you can vibrationally understand that you are the everything, that you are the all, it's not going to come to you. You must magnetize that with your will and your intention. The way that we do that is by uncovering ourselves. The more that we uncover ourselves, yeah, I know not everyone likes dark nights of the soul or endless shadow work, right? But the more that we uncover ourselves, we uncover, we uncover, we do the work, do the work, we uncover, uncover, do the work, do the work, do the work. And then we see, we get epiphany upon epiphany. That is what the dark nights of the soul are for. They're epiphanies. It's shattering your ego making you dissolve yourself, dissolve your ego, so that you go within, that you look within who you are. It makes you go within to look at who you are, do the work, and then when you uncover at some point, you, you stop needing to do shadow work because it becomes a, a constant process. It's just there happening. You are dissolving these illusions in order to be brought into a greater understanding of yourself and who you're meant to become. That's what the epiphanies are for. Maybe you had an epiphany. I'm meant to be an artist. I'm meant to be a creator. I'm meant to be a CEO, an architect, right? If you see these visions, if, if, you, if they're playing out in your head and you're like, oh, I want to do that. I, I want to do, why aren't you doing it? Not 
college, everyone, everyone's forced into this rat race, of go to college, go to school, get a wife, get a job, you know what I mean? It's different when they're just aligning for you, like, oh, I was meant to go to this college or go here and there, but not everyone is meant for that path. So it's about looking at that, looking at your path and the path that you are paving and the path that you are deciding for yourself because no one else has walked it that's why you're here that's why you're playing this game that's why you're inside of this soul simulation and matrix and it's you who chooses the red pill or the blue pill it's you who chooses to wake up to evolve to progress and grow and grow and go through this dark night of the soul this spiritual awakening or to stagnate and stay the same every choice is up to you and who you choose to become is based off your thoughts your actions what you do the steps that you take so many people complain they complain about their job they complain about this reality not realizing it's just an illusion it's just a simulacra it's just a simulation and a matrix. And once we start to embrace and know that and take it on, and if you are doing the work spiritually, if you, if you are going through the Sephiroth and the Cliffoth, and you are, or you're working with dragons or these beings that can teach you this soul simulation and this matrix, then you, you have the tools, you have the guidance and the wisdom to get through it all, to know what it is, and then through that knowing, transmute it. The more that you understand yourself, you can transmute yourself. When you see your truths, it, it destroys self-doubt, it destroys fear, it destroys lack, it destroys disbelief. When you know that you are the universe, that you are the all, that you are the creator source, just expressing itself through its own individual individuation, its own individual vibration, that we are all in a cosmic dance, all expressing our own style, our own moves, but yet we're all flowing with each other and this cosmic dance, and this Tandava. For as we are dancing, we are creating a reality. We are creating our vibration, our own universe. A universe lies within your mind because you are the everything and the all. You are not your body, you are not your mind. You are the consciousness that lies behind let me say that again. You are not your body. You are not your mind. You are the consciousness that lies behind. You are the observer observing yourself and your reality, consciously making decisions in each and every moment that place you to where you want to be. So with all of this, guys, I invite you to create your own realities, to know that you are the creator of your reality and everything that you desire to become, you already have. Because what you're seeing in your mind, what you feel that you are meant to do in your life, all of these things are testing you. <laughs> They're showing you. Are you gonna are you gonna make the are you gonna make the choice? I know you don't feel like it, you don't feel like making a video, you don't feel like doing the ritual, you don't feel like meditating, but maybe you are meant to. Am I meant to stay up all night and create my magnum opus even though my stomach's hurting and I have no sleep and I just want to go to bed? But I feel all this creation energy and that I need to make videos or I need to write that book. Write that book. Just do it. Embrace, embrace what you love and from it create. And from what you're creating, embrace that new reality. 
So with all this, guys, I hope you have a beautiful day, beautiful night. And let me know what you guys thought. Leave a, leave a comment, like and subscribe if you feel that I taught you anything worth value, if I brought value into your life. But as well, leave comments on what you guys want to learn. Um, occult, metaphysics, astrology, spirituality, psychology, um, self-mastery, magic, whatever it may be. As well, you can uh, hire me for a consultation if you guys would like. Um, I started to give out my services. Just hit me up. We can discuss um, prices or whatever you guys desire. Um, but honestly, what I desire is to teach and meet with the soul fam. So I hope you guys have a blessed day. Peace. I'm out.